A common question that I tend to get asked very, very often is how do I keep a track of my cryptocurrency portfolio? Now, Blockfolio is a very, very good app that you can use. You, you never actually store your coins on Blockfolio. Blockfolio is only used as a portfolio manager or tracker, so you can keep an eye on all your cryptocurrencies. It's it's not an exchange, so there are no coins on there. And also, it's safe to use on your phone, and it's only used to view and track your crypto portfolio. So it's a crypto tracker that sits on your phone, whether it's an Android device or an iPhone, it makes no difference. Blockfolio is an amazing app that I've been using for quite some time now, and in all honesty, it's definitely an app that you should have to help you track your portfolio. So what I'm gonna do now is just do a very, very quick demonstration on how you can use Blockfolio. So here you can see that when you press the track screen, the track icon at the bottom, so the middle icon at the bottom, you come to this screen here. And the great thing about Blockfolio is that you can have trackers and you can actually um, have different trackers on there. So for example, in my case, I've got main portfolio here and also mid cap coins. So if I want to add, for example, low cap coins, I can add that by creating a new portfolio. So that's what, that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm going to call my new portfolio low cap coins. So I'll just type it in here, low cap coins. And then I can leave the default fiat currency as dollars because I do prefer dollars myself and then I'll click the create portfolio button but before then I'm just going to choose a color that I'm happy with so let me just choose uh, the one on the end and click the create portfolio button I now I've now split up my portfolio into main portfolio for my main portfolio and large cap coins I have the mid cap coins section here and also I've split it up into low cap coins as well I'm just going to add some more coins now to my main portfolio. So to add coins, all you have to do is click the plus button at the bottom left of the screen. So I'll click that. I'm then going to search for a coin. For example, let's search for Ethereum. So just give it a few seconds while it searches for Ethereum. I'll click on Ethereum and Ethereum will now be added to my watch list. Now. What I need to do next is click the add button next to the Ethereum coin. So I'll click that now. And now I will add the quantity of Ethereum that I have in my portfolio. So let me just say, just say I've got a five in there. So I'll add five to that. I'll click done. And also what you can do is you can add the exchange through which you bought the coin. So that way it can track the exact price for you. So for example, if I bought bought the coin through Binance, I would click Binance here and then that is it. That's all I need to do. There are additional options as well that you can add on there. For example, you can add the day that you bought the coins and also the time as well. But let's leave that for a minute. And also a great thing about Blockfolio is that you can add some notes here as well. So whatever notes you want to add, you can add here related to that coin. I will then click save and that has now been saved for me. And as you can see, if you look at the main portfolio number at the top in dollars, that has now gone up to $52,000. If I was to click that main portfolio box at the top there, it actually toggles between the price in Bitcoins. So the, the main portfolio is now 1.365 Bitcoins big. And obviously one Bitcoin at the moment is $38,000 or thereabouts. And if I click it again, it also gives me the value in Ethereum. So in this particular case, my total main portfolio is worth 18.7944 ETH. So it's a good way to see how many coins you've got in, in terms of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and also in dollar value as well. Now, the next thing I need to do is click the, the bell icon if I want to, and I can now set alerts when the Ethereum price crosses any particular level. For example, if I want to know when Ethereum is, is $4,000 a coin, I would add $4,000 there, 
and then click the every time button so that it actually indicates to me or gives me an alert every time Ethereum crosses $4,000 on the exchange you can see there. So this particular case is actually on, on the Binance exchange and I can also change the exchange here if I want to. Currently it's on Binance. So if I want to change that to, for example, let's say, let's say Coinbase, I would just take, type Coinbase in the search box at the top and click the Coinbase button and now it will actually track the Coinbase prices. Now the trading pair here is listed as Ethereum and Aussie dollar and I can change that to whatever I want to. So in my particular case I like to track things in USD, so US dollar and hence I would click the US dollar button at the bottom. And now I will get an alert every time the price actually goes up to $4,000. So let's put that back to $4,000. So I'll get an alert every time the price on Coinbase for Ethereum hits the $4,000 mark. I'll click save alert and that alert has now been saved for me. I'm just gonna add a few more coins um, to this main portfolio. So again, I'll click the plus button. Let's say I want to add Cardano. I would type it in the search box here. I'll click on Cardano. And again, it's the same process again as I showed you before. Now, currently Cardano here is on the watch list. I haven't actually put in how many Cardanos how many coins I have so I'll click the add button and again I can put the quantity here let's just say I've bought 100 Cardano so click it just put 100 in the quantity box the exchange I'll choose the exchange again we've got a variety of choices here so whichever exchange I've bought it on I'll click it in there but just bear in mind if the exchange that I've used is not on here then you just choose global average so that's a good global average number that it will track for you and again that's all i need to do obviously you've got the more options tag at the bottom that you can add additional notes to and you click save so cardano has now been added i can add an alert to that as well if, I, if i'm monitoring the prices and again same as before let's say i want to track if cardano goes beyond three dollars click done and save the alert so cardano has now been added some other portfolio coins you might want to add and let me just add a couple more here so you, you're familiar with the process one such coin that i like to track is ripple so again it's the same process again and then i would like to add dot as well so polka dot is a great coin to have in your portfolio so again you go through the same process again so as you can see i'm just adding coins it's a very very quick way to add coins to your portfolio and by having these different categories it actually enables you to track how your main portfolio is doing compared to your mid cap coins and also you've got your low cap coins as well Again, the same process again, if you want to add coins to your to your mid cap coin list. Let me just add a couple more here. So RAN is a good mid cap coin. Let me add RAN to my portfolio here and I'll add another coin that I quite like, which is Ocean. So I'll add that as well. Ocean protocol, great coin to have. And I'll add that to my mid cap coins. Again, click the add button indicating how many coins you're tracking. I've done that for Ren and same again, let's do it for Ocean. And if you want to follow the alerts, you can do so again through by pressing, sorry, the bell icon at the end of each coin. And finally, we've got the low cap coins here. Currently the portfolio is empty. So let me just add a quick couple of coins here. Uh, let's have a look. I can add ramp which is a good low cap coin to have in your portfolio one to monitor and let's add one more matic or polygon is another favorite of mine it's a great low cap coin to have and that is now also added to my tracker and again let's put some coins in there so i put 100 ramp in there same process as before and again as you can see it's very very simple to add your coins in here and it's actually it's a free app that you have on your phone so i've added that to the wrong one add it to the quantity button it's a free app you can have on your phone and it's a very very clever way for you to track how many coins you have in your portfolio so if you're using five ten or more exchanges it's obviously very very difficult to keep a track on everything that you've got by linking them all up to blockfolio 
you can track everything that you've got on one app. So all you have to do is open up your app and you can view and track your crypto portfolio by the touch of a button. So my recommendation to you is get yourself a copy of Blockfolio. It's a free app, nothing to pay, and track your portfolio going forward. My name is Dr. Jav. I hope you've learned something from this video. Please do subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you on the next video. And also any questions that you got, you have regarding anything to do with cryptocurrencies, trading, or even in mindset, please do ask me those questions via any of my channels. If you go to the description box with this video, you, you've got the links to my social media pages where you can find me and ask me any questions that you like. If you want to be mentored or, and become part of our academy, please again do get in touch with me and we can show you how to build a six and seven figure portfolio, cryptocurrency portfolio, as many of our students currently have. My name is Dr. Jav. Again, thank you for your time and I shall see you on the next video.